Hey, how you doing? I just want to talk about gang stalking and um, being grateful for what you have and being grateful for the things you don't have um, and also being ungrateful for some things in life that have been put upon you, have been forced upon you in some sort of way and... Um, and using your logic, using your logic to be able to, you know, tell if you're normal or not, to be able to tell if, you know, you're reacting the normal way that a human being should be reacting to all these things. And, you know, to be grateful, you know, is every time you... You work hard for something. You try to build something. You know, um, you're always respectful to people. You know, you always say thank you. You know, you always sort of try to show kindness to people. You, you're being grateful, you know. You, you, you are being a grateful person. Every time you're sort of like, you know, um, acknowledging people and all that sort of stuff you know, saying hello and, and, you know, just general, general discussion and, you know, you're giving people time and, and all that and you're showing people that you're grateful, you know, like just in your daily life and like also like thanking God every day and things is for your life and that things aren't that bad and could be worse and you know, like, you can be grateful for all those things, you know, like, it goes through a person's mind, you know, like, everyone in general, you know, thinks the same way, but like, when it comes to gang stalking, in my life, right, I've got these invisible people gang stalking me, following me everywhere I go, and I've been nothing but tortured and things like a I was like, a, I'm like a punching bag for these people, right? And I have to tolerate it every single day and stuff like that. I even take medication for it, like, you name it. I've, I've had over 10 nervous breakdowns over this gang stalking situation. Like, they've broke me so many fucking times, it's ridiculous. And um, they're calling me ungrateful these invisible gang stalkers, you know, and I, like, all I was from these gang stalkers was, like, a punching bag, and I was pretty much experimented on like a guinea pig, and, you know, I was, I was forced into a lot of situations where I'm being touched, I'm being molested, I'm being, like, humiliated, like, you know, and they're telling me why am I ungrateful for all those things. And it's ridiculous to call somebody ungrateful when you're being attacked by gang stalkers, invisible people in your house. Do you know what I mean? And you're trying to be, like, rational about the whole situation. You're trying to find some rationality in... You know, that you're being followed by invisible ghosts and you try to, like, look at things scientifically and say, like, you know, it's people using technology or it's ghosts or it's demons or, you know, you think spiritually it's it's demons, all this, everything, like, comes into play. Aliens, reptilians, like, you know, it's fucking madness, man, you know, that they terrorise you like you're some sort of terrorist. You know what I mean? They ter they torture you the same way they would a fucking terrorist in, like, some prison camp. You know what I mean? Some scientific fucking facility. And, you know, they just run torture fucking games on you to see if you'll crack under this sort of strain, see if you'll snap under this different, like, um, situation and all that sort of stuff. And... They try to make you look ungrateful. They call you ungrateful for being tortured. It's ridiculous. I know it sounds ridiculous, but 
They're telling me I'm ungrateful for being tortured, you know, for losing my job and all this sort of stuff. How the fuck can I be grateful for losing my job, for losing my friends, losing my family, you know, in this whole situation? I get hit with frequencies. I get tortured. Like, I've had so many medical issues over these gang stalkers. It's, it's like madness, you know? And um, I've been hospitalised, I've been locked up, like all those things, you know. And all they want to tell me is that I'm ungrateful. And it doesn't make sense that, you know, I get tortured every single day by these people just waiting for me to die, basically. And they're calling me ungrateful and it's just this psychological game that I'm playing with people. You know, and I would be grateful if these gang stalkers left me alone and I was able to, like, get a job and, you know, meet people and, you know, go on a dating website or whatever, you know, and just like a normal person would do, you know, who's trying to get himself together, you know, after so long of just all bullshit, constantly gang stalked, you know. And, you know, they humiliate me, man, you know, like sexually, mentally, physically, it's fucked, man. You know, they got my family, like everyone, man, involved in it. And I don't know what to fucking do, man, other than just fight this, like, whole thing. And because I am a grateful person, like, gangs, like, TI people, like, a. Uh, empathic people I think you know in general like we do care more than other people do even though because we're happy in our own world and we were working hard and things like that and you know you just get targeted for being like just a citizen mate just trying to make ends meet and like everyone's been taken over there's nobody left you know, everyone's been through this gang stalking program, as far as I'm concerned. And people react different to it. People react in different ways. And, you know, these, the government doesn't get that, you know. The, these people don't get that. That people's psychology, how they would react to under stress and under situations of being gang stalked, you know being under surveillance, being fucking terrorised by people. You know, it's terrifying. It's terror. It's terrorism. It's terror. Like, you know, that's the way to describe it. You know, and you're supposed to be grateful and things like that. And when I first came across a gang stalker, it wasn't like rainbows and unicorns. It was, I was being spooked spooked out like you know by spooks by like ghosts you know and that's how I felt I felt people were touching my food in my house everything and you know you do get defensive towards others when shit like that is going on in your life and you don't know who to trust or anything and that's being ungrateful being gang stalked you know, you're out of your, it's madness, you're out of your mind. And subjecting people to all kinds of doctors and, and, and scientists and spiritualists and psychics, you know, and family members and friends, all advising you on through this situation that it's all in my imagination. It's, you know, it's not real, you know, it's not real what you're going through. The, the people walking out with their phones, the the cars that go past, the invisible people, your friends and family being manipulated, you know, colour sensitisation. It's madness, man. It's fucking crazy. And, you know, that's that's all I wanted to talk about anyway. So, like, take care.